What's the great thing about doing a, a book like this? It assembles a great cast. A lot of people want to be a part of it, me included. Salutations. What the hey? Lying down on the job, eh? <laughs> <laughs> wow. G -g golly Egg exactly. Thank you. Thank you. We were throwing out names that you would never think, but in a movie like this, with all of the animals, it felt like, oh, okay, we can be really eclectic. We thought out of the box. I mean, we totally went for it. That's easy for you to say. I just tried to close my eyes and listen to the voice to see if it would fit the character. They don't call me Mother Goose for nothing. And I think it was Jordan who came up with Oprah. And then we listened to the voice, and it just, wow, made perfect sense. We were doing a kind of uh, marital situation with a husband and wife. We needed to have a little kind of back and forth, a little bickering. As ugly as that spider is, we should have known she was smart. So you don't believe that someone can be smart and pretty? No, yeah, it's, I mean, yes, I mean, yeah, I mean, you are. I think she was a little nervous. It was her first time doing it. Me, I'm a veteran, you know, old animated voice of a veteran. That was one thing that I had up on Oprah, so I would coach her, you know, from time to time, calm her down and go, Oprah, you, you know, you're losing it, okay? It's not that big a deal. What? What is he doing? You give away prizes on your show all the time. Me, I give away voiceover advice. Thank you, thank you. Yes. It's been wonderful. Cedric's been wonderful. got this great sing-song okay. voice, and he's okay. very funny. You checked off Oprah's, but you didn't check off all the yeah, things no, that it's... Oprah has. <laughs> you got it. It's a little favoritism. Yeah, good, so good, good. You there you go. Today. Yeah, right. There just, you go, here right. we go. Good. good. Here we go. Guy. It was better when Oprah was around because then it sort of they can play off each other. Sadly, it's a spider. <laughs> <laughs> it's really smart. Well, that's my golly ollie ollie. We have our two wonderful cows played by Kathy Bates and Reba McIntyre. They are sort of the two old spinsters of the barn. We told you not to break that egg. Now look what you've done, rat. I just loved working with, uh, with Reba. I've been a fan of hers for many, many years, so it was terrific to work with her. Quit your laughing bits, the joke's on us. We listen back to it and say, I don't talk like that. Yes, you do, you sound just like a hick. I don't sound like a hick, oh yes you do. <laughs> so that's pretty much what I sounded like when I was listening to it on this movie. Sounded like a hick, proud of it. <laughs> He's a goner. Yeah, glad nobody eats cows. Mm. Gary and I couldn't stop laughing. I mean, literally tears coming down our face watching the two of them. And as two Southern Bells, they just play so beautifully off one another. Oh, look, bitch, pig's out. Oh, sure is out, out of his mind. <laughs> it's almost like uh, being a child again to do an animated creature because you're really making up voices and sounds and just having fun with it. I mean, I know my cow has a problem with flatulence. <laughs> Excuse me. I was probably giving them a lot more sound effects than they ever wanted to hear, but I just had great fun with it. How about? No, <laughs> oh, oh, don't. Did you get it? <laughs> yep, bullseye. <laughs> Templeton is many people's favorite character in, in the book because he's just so darn nasty. Oh, gee, thanks. Steve Buscemi imbues Templeton with a tremendous sense of sarcasm and irony. You're very kind. Don't go spreading it around. Steve is one of the greatest actors around, and we're friends, and he's very good at this. And, you know, I'd call Steve and ask for advice. I don't play. I gnaw, I spy, I eat, I hide. Me in a nutshell. If I play your not-so-common brown rat, um, in the Chinese zodiac, if you were born in the year of the rat, you would possess the qualities of honesty, creativity, generosity. I got a choice word for you. A little word called uh-uh. Well, that's two words. You'd also be prone to uh, having a quick temper. Who got his hindquarters pecked to make you radiant, huh? Templeton, that's who. What I found was all these qualities were inhabited in uh, the character of Templeton. For your information, pig, the rat rules. Look, I don't come across many words in the field other than yeah or giddy up. I think it's a lot of fun to actually hear Ike in the movie because Bob really goes for it. Spiders won't hurt me. To actually have him go over the top is kind of was probably a first for him, but actually a lot of fun. Excuse me, but why are we here? What exactly are you trying to accomplish? 
Excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well, I rely completely on Gary Winnick. Sometimes he'll give me specific directions, sometimes he'll just say, do another one, because the more you do anything, the freer you get, and the freer you get, the more likely you'll come up with a reading that's a little, little better. What luck! An early riser, and he has things he needs to say. He was able to nail it right from the beginning because his tonality is just spectacular to animate to. Pigs are smart. Apparently, they're as intelligent as dolphins. <laughs> Advantage dolphins. I had a wonderful idea for his characterization, which was that he should talk like this all the time. And they said, no. I'm telling you, he is following us. Other main characters are our crows, who are referred to in the book, but don't have major roles in the book. I'm partnered with Andre Benjamin. I hate that guy. <laughs> to um, uh, crows that are hotly in pursuit of of all things corn. You got your popcorn, caramel corn, candy corn. Stop torturing me! There's definitely a challenge there that all you have to imbue the character with your humor or your pathos or your drama or whatever the scene requires, and just have your voice. It can't be the same guy. It can't be. He's wearing the same hat. Thomas Hayden Church and Andre never in the same room together. Both of those guys have just such dynamic range in their voice, so it's perfect. Abort! 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 The two of them have this chemistry when they're together that makes everyone in the room just laugh out loud. Charlotte, great name. Charlotte is obviously our leading character of the movie. She is the most challenging from a visual standpoint, but not from an acting standpoint. We have the most amazing person in Julia Roberts to play Charlotte. I do my best thinking upside down. Blood goes to my head and perks me up. We listened to all these voices with our eyes closed, and her voice was amazingly warm and gentle, but yet kind of stern. Ugh, that spider can talk. When we first started, there was a, a little tiny pig, I think, on the cover of National Geographic in this studio that we were in. And so he took the magazine and he had it kind of propped up in front of me. That was back when we didn't have anything, not a drawing, not a frame of film, nothing. And I just sat and stared at this magazine and did all of my lines to this little picture of a pig. If I don't win the prize tomorrow, they're going to send me to the smokehouse. You're going to win, Wilbur, and you're going to see the snows of winter. I did work with Dominic a couple of times, and he was just so charming and sweet, and his voice is so perfect for Wilbur. My name is Wilbur. Anyone want to play? Anyone? When you watch the movie, it's amazing how the animation can make such personality come into the pig. I am not going to let them kill you. You're a spider. You're little. They're huge. How are you going to stop them? He was very funny, exciting. It was fun to see my voice in that pig. Wow, what happened to you? <laughs> Jump up. <sighs> Again. 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 Wait, wait, Fern, come back. Wait, wait, Fern, come back. Well, Dominic I probably work with the most because, you know, he's got the most lines. Ready? Dominic and I would fly to New Mexico. One. To work with Julia. Two, three. We do our magic tricks on the plane and stuff and on the drive. Okay. He's just a great kid. Yeah, this will be great. Yeah, this will be great. He's enjoying everything. He's enjoying the life, and I, I enjoy everything. And I feel like a pig sometimes. I feel like a little Wilbur. 